Okay, I've been waiting for this one and Wavelink sent it finally. I actually have another Wavelink outdoors repeater. At least that's how I use them. You can use them as access point too. So basically you take your Wi-Fi or internet from inside, install this outside so you can have the internet shared towards your backyard or garden or wherever you want to extend the uh, connectivity. This is a Wi-Fi 6 capable, which means most of the newer phones and laptops are actually Wi-Fi 6. That's quite fast. AX3000. And this is the Aerial HD 10. You, you, it comes with the power over Ethernet and a LAN or WAN 1 port uh, up to 1 gigabit per second. IP67 waterproof. Now that is really good has the uh, antennas inside and all that stuff. So let's open it up. Instead of talking, let me start showing. And uh, well, I'm gonna connect it and go put it outside and replace my other antenna. Actually, I might give the other antenna to a friend that needs one because it's a really good one. The other wavelength I have outside because I really want to install this one now and see how that goes. Well, this is, this is a big one. Ooh. Nice packaging. This is the pack inside and uh, should open right here. Yep, it does. Boom. Now we're talking. Whew, this looks cool. Accessory box. I feel like I'm uh, unwrapping a Starlink or something high end. Not that this is not high end, but okay, the clips came in. So you can wrap it if you want to put it in a pole, which I may do that actually. Yeah, it, they go through there. So that's going to be my installation or you can put screws. It has the four screw holes in it. This is really, this is really, really cool. Okay. And we have the reset button right here. It's protected. We have the uh, ethernet cable that has as well the uh, power because it's power over ethernet. And you have the ground. Let me cover this one here. That screw right there is your ground screw. And what else do we have here? Take this. This is really nice. And we have the quick start guide. We have the mount. Oh, I like that. Like when they include this. So you can just put this on the wall and put the screws on it. And they're pre-measured for you. I love that. And what else do we have? Mesh setup guide. Okay, let me take this one out too. And that's it. There's nothing else in the box itself. So let's put the box on the side really quick and see what we're actually doing. This thing looks like a giant. <laughs> okay, let's get into the accessory box because that's one thing I want to get into. Oh, some 3M tape. Ho, ho, ho. So you can just stick it if you want to. Let's see. Yeah, actually, you can do that too. That is cool. Okay. Piece of Ethernet wire. Uh, power plug and besides that we have the weatherproof sleeve mountings uh anchors and uh screws a wrench for this sleeve right here and the power over ethernet converter which is how this will be powered on because i really like this kind of stuff so yeah wow okay let me take this out really quick actually let me prepare this one here because i need this first before we connect anything let me undo this part so we take this out i put this cable through here oh look at me forgetting this one is cut somewhere oh, okay it goes after two like this and we put this one in here that goes through here then through here then we put this one around here so you put this piece of rubber where it was right there then you come up with this one but first let's plug it in here boom like that we do this one first that's where the wrench comes in if you want to that's what it's intended to do you put it here boom this ain't going nowhere then this sleeve here that you can use the same wrench i would assume this is what gets this apart here tightened up so there's no water going through i think this is here that's uh, you don't want to over tighten it maybe i'll give it a little bit more uh space right there that seems perfect boom that was it that's the whole installation there and here you have this <coughs> that in my case i might put it i have a like a mud room that i'm gonna install this on it's actually really cool because this will stay inside well inside if you have if you know how a mud room works 
It's kind of outside the house, attached to the house. Makes sense, I hope. So this will be on the outer wall, kind of facing towards the backyard, where I want the signal to go towards that side. So antennas are built in inside here, the high gain antennas, and that's it. You don't need to have anything uh, preposterous to go with it. <laughs> and here it says power over ethernet, DC in and data in. You can connect directly the data here, but this one goes right here, boom. And this one in here, and that's it. The rest, I'm gonna have to check on my computer, is we're gonna have to connect to it somehow and see what we can do. Boom. Okay, the light came on. You can turn it off with this button if you want to. So the light is on now. But oh, there's a little blue light right here. You can uh, pair or you can reset it if you hold it for six seconds like this it will reset i don't really need to reset it because it's already brand new never used before but release and that's it and there's nothing else that you can see here except for going to actually install it but for now we have to jump in the computer and do some configuration first and uh we'll see how that uh, goes and where that goes Okay, so what I did so far, I connected the Ethernet cable coming from my router that's connected to internet directly to the uh, LAN port or data in, put the power on, turn on the switch, put the Ethernet cable that came with the antenna straight from here to the antenna itself. It is blinking here on the back. I'm not sure if you can see that. Yep. And uh, it should start broadcasting a network. As you see, I'm already connected inside the uh, laptop. Let me just show you real quick. Yep, we have both the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz. I go to 2.4 because we need to set up. And first of all, of course, you need to enter a password. And this password is for the device, for the administrator. But the main password when you're first logging in, like we're doing right now, is admin. That's what we need here is we need to log in first and I'm not going to save this one because we don't need to, but here search for your region, change the time. I'm going to put just any time, I guess I don't really care that much here. And then you have the administrator password right here. That's what you need to put in really quick. So you click this switch mode here before you go hit next. After you enter the password, know that, hit switch mode, and by default goes on AP mode, access point mode. In my case, I'm going to do repeater mode, because that's what I want to do. I want to take the existing uh, Wi-Fi and take it outside. Repeater mode, hit apply, then hit next. And we don't need to save any of this stuff here. Just wait in to scan. It's scanning for Wi-Fi that we have around us. And I will select the Wi-Fi that I want to actually repeat outside. So this is quite key right here to make sure you select the Wi-Fi that you want to repeat. Okay, so what I want to repeat here is this Nighthawk 2. And what happens is uh, the funny part is as this Nighthawk I'm repeating is actually another Wavelink router not a repeater antenna like this it's an actual router that they sent me a while ago and this is gonna be cool and we're gonna hit next because that's what i want to repeat and here is the target network password so the network that we're repeating that network's password you have to enter here okay i entered it and then you have to do the connection type bridge. I'm going to leave it at bridge. The name, I'm going to leave it Nighthawk 2 extended so I know which one it is. And you can uh, change now the Wi-Fi password for 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz for this. Now you're talking about this one right here at this point. I'm going to enter these passwords really quick. And I'm going to hit save and wait for it to restart and do its own thing. And after this... Just make sure that your existing router, if you're doing repeat like you're doing on mine, make sure your existing router can reach this antenna, of course. The reason I'm doing it this way is that because the other router, the other router, is in the other side of the house. As you see, let me just check really quick. Yep, the extension 2, 4G, 2.4 gigahertz. That's it. Boom. 
everything loading and working and that's all we need now it doesn't matter where you put this you will have these two networks being broadcasted the whole time the nighthawk to 5 gigahertz and the 2.4 gigahertz or whatever the name of your networks are obviously and as you see we don't have the cable connected there's just the power and that's it so now i'm just gonna go install it on that mod room that i told you a minute ago and i will have internet on the backyard that's all so We'll see you there really quick. Okay, so this is just a mod room and I'm going to install it right here. Is this room is directly towards the outside of the house or what's so called the backyard. So we're going to do just that really quick and uh, see where that goes. It should be good. This is just kind of wood, almost open room on the outside. So there is no blockage of the waves at all. So we'll do it uh, with a paper that it comes with so this here i would say this is uh, a pretty good spot right here somewhere maybe around here and uh it's uh, that easy you just put the screws i'm not even measuring anything oh look at that that was easy okay and the next screw right here it is straight now we put it right here and boom just like that it is now fully installed and boom we are ready to plug it in and go take some speed tests so you might be sitting outside laptop is just starting and i have the phone actually connected to that same network and we're gonna do a quick speed test on the phone as you see oh yeah it's getting a lot of good speeds right there as you see and uh we're gonna do the same on the laptop this is just a, one of those Adirondack chairs, just to make sure that we're outside. I didn't light the fireplace, so don't worry about that part. Upload and download. Look at that. Blazing fast. So I'm going to go on a speed test on the laptop really quick as well. And now we're going to take a quick test on the laptop. So it's just loading the page and boom. They are the same speeds, whether it's on the laptop or on the phone. Look at that. Literally going to breaking the needle and look at that i don't know if you can see it on camera but the ping is only seven milliseconds this is i can literally game right here and uh it's it's actually way better than i thought this wavelength uh antenna i gotta say this is way way better than i thought wow let me give another speed test on the phone really quick and here's the phone too taking the same speed Boom. Literally, it's the same ping. Eight uh, milliseconds ping on the phone and on the laptop. Both exactly the same. Well, I mean, it makes sense because they're both connected to the same extender that we put there. But this is, this is mind-boggling right now. It's actually really, really good. So, yeah, that's all I can say, actually. It's, so, it doesn't matter if you're watching your, your favorite YouTuber <laughs> or some games it doesn't matter what you have there you can enjoy it and i'm actually quite a long ways from the antenna itself here i'm literally in the forest <laughs> and uh it uh, you saw it yourself you saw the speeds they're actually way way better than i ever thought they're gonna be this is just my take on it